John Patton is living the dream. Accidentally found a niche market for something he never knew existed. Lance Schwartz has that story, Lance. John and Cerise, sometimes in life, fate just comes out of nowhere and allows people to find the perfect career that suits them to a T. That's what happened when the stars aligned and John Patton bowled a perfect game. It was October 1st, 2004, and it was a regular Friday night league. John Patton was striking up a storm. My second game, I was fortunate enough to bowl a 300. And after a flawless 12 strikes in a row, the owner of Sun Valley had a question for him. You just bowled a 300. Would you like to have the lane you bowled it on? I said, oh God, Chuck, that'd be great. I'd love it. I was like, kid at Christmas. And John turned his Christmas present into a table. When I brought my lane home, this was the very first product I made, was the approach where I slid at the foul line on lane nine, throwing my 300 game. John feels fortunate. He got to turn a lifelong hobby into a profession. John quit his job as a copier salesman and became a full-time bowling artist. I really found something I'd love, what I do, and I call it work. It's hard to do that. This is John's first award-winning work of art. This is a pin deck from lane nine to where I stopped this strike in motion. From there, the 47-year-old let his imagination run wild from shelves to earrings to clocks. Bowling enthusiasts eat it up. The other day, me and my 10-year-old son was doing a mailbox post. We had half of it put together. He sat on it, said, Dad, make a chair. John has a great time taking his show on the road as he sold his unique products in 37 different states while selling at some of the biggest tournaments in the nation. Anything that keeps him around the game he loves. If I could do it every day, I would. I don't think I'll ever stop. Well, John is currently replenishing his stock of used lanes. A bowling alley in Aurora recently closed its doors, and John will soon turn that nostalgic wood into some brand new bowling art. Well, if you have a story you'd like to see in a future edition of Lance's Journal, drop me a line or give me a call. We'll share your slice of the good life with the rest of the state. Good for him. Way to go. See, it can happen in ways you just don't expect. You can always see an expanded version of Lance's Journal at 1011now.com. These stories as well. A full